This is Design on Time, where every episode, a viewer will choose three random things that Amy and Jamie will need to incorporate into a new creative project. The objects will be revealed at the start of the episode, and they'll have just 15 minutes to complete the project. Join them as they learn to push their creative limits in a fun and challenging way. Welcome back, everyone. First of all, thank you so much for all the amazing comments you all left on our video last week. We have a winner picked, and we will be announcing that at the end of the episode. For now, let's get into our next challenger, who is Olia from Paint Paper Studio. Let's see what she has in store for us. Hey guys, it's Olia Schmidt from Paint Paper Studio. And today for Design on Time, I'm challenging you to use three of the following things. Watercolor paints, a drawing, and a word joy. Can't wait to see what you create. Now go. All right, Olya, challenge accepted. For this layout, I did the watercolor as a background behind the photos. I just watercolored some colorful lines. And for the for the doodle, I attempted a palm tree. It kind of looks like a flower or a firework, but I was pretty proud of myself for not chintzing that out. I still got it done. And for the joy, I used it in my title. I guess I went the safe route and did the palm tree on the tag in case it didn't look right. I could at least ditch it and start over again. For the background, I chose to do four um, strips of watercolor. Then it didn't seem like enough but I didn't want to go crazy with the watercolor, so I added a strip of pattern paper and some washi. I layered my photos from some pages from the stitch line, and then I also added some die cuts, but tucked them behind the photos just for a little bit of a layered look. The enamel dots were kind of an afterthought since I wanted to watercolor them, but it felt too much pressure time-wise. Um, I just chose to sprinkle them all throughout the layout. So I decided to use my Get to Work book, which is my new planner, and I thought I would have plenty of time to make it a little bit more colorful, but I wanted to get the main things out of the way. So I started off by stamping the sun and drawing the rays in the watercolor paint, as well as sketching out the palm tree. And also, I wanted to include the word joy. So once I knocked all those out, then I could focus on bringing some color and fun into the page. And I did a lot of stamping, I did some washi taping, and some important dates were filled in as well. But I really wish I had more time because there were a lot of details that I wanted to include that I wasn't able to. Three, two, one, step back from the table. In summary, I think I would like to have had more time to watercolor a little bit more and journal a little bit neater. Overall, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I can't wait to enjoy July and fill in the other boxes. 
All right, Olya, thank you so much for this week's challenge. Some of us didn't quite have enough time to finish. These ladies did amazing work as always. Uh, we will have a special announcement to make for last week's winner of the Life Intended, the signed copy of Kristen Harmel's latest book, and it is Tori Bissell. Thank you all for your comments. They were amazing. We were inspired. For all those who follow Olya on social media, you'll know she's an amazing artist and uh, travel sketcher. And she has given us the name of a great book, which we've linked in the show notes below, that will get you started on your journey if you're interested in travel sketching. So highly recommend that. And that brings us to the end of season one of Design on Time. Thank you all for making it a huge success. We've had over 125,000 views over the last couple of months. We've enjoyed every minute of it. We'll be back this summer with new videos, with some awesome new content. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. And I think it would be fitting if we wrapped season one the way we started it with a little rap from none other than Tudor Rob Williams. Whoa, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> 15 minutes of three random things to take a scrapbook and to make you say no time to worry or be filled with doubt. When you tight rope walking, you don't look. Just keep drafting, crafting, making something happen, faith in, faking, big mistake making. Because if this white boy can rap well, then you can book scrap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll be in my trailer. Pound? Just had to go for it, you know. Can you say bye? Can you wave bye bye? <laughs> Yay! <laughs>